one stocking for me and one for you, Dr. Matthews. We dogs don't usually wear stockings, Kenny. <laughs> They're not for wearing, Dr. Matthews. They're for when Santa comes tonight. He'll put our presents in them. Yours in one, mine in the other. Well, as long as it's big enough for a bone. It's going to be a lovely Christmas. <sighs> Look, I think it might snow. Wouldn't it be great to have a white Christmas? time doing your Christmas shopping in an helicopter. Yeah, I don't know why everyone else doesn't do it. Hey, wait a minute. Look down there. Looks like a bear. A white bear. White bear? Bears aren't white. Bears is brown. Not if they're from the North Pole or not. North Pole? What's she doing here then? What are you doing here? You should be on the North Pole. I floated away when the ice broke, and then I lost my wellies in the water, and now I can't move my toes. Can't move your toes? Why? What's the matter with them? Crikey! We better get you to hospital as soon as possible. What's this? An early Christmas present? Yes, it's from us. To us. It's a new computer, so we can use the internet. The internet tells you everything a scientist needs to know. We need it urgently. There's an emergency. Emergency? Yes, we've got to find a recipe for Christmas cake. Ah, there you are, Dr. Matthews. There's an emergency. I've got a very cold bear to warm up. Action stations. Mallet. Mallet. Chisel. Chisel. Anesthetic, Sandy. No need, Dr. Atkins. Peter's toes are so frozen he can't feel anything. There. Now. Let's have a look at those toes. Mm. Just as I thought. Severe frostbite. Kitty, get these feet into warm water. Dr. Atkins, we'll need some warm socks. Uh, oh, I'll see what I can do. Dr. Matthews, fetch the child a warm drink. Yes, Sally. Will I be well enough to go home for Christmas? Bread not, Peter. I've got a very nasty case of frostbite. But I want to be with my mummy. And what about my presents? Ah, oh. <laughs> uh -huh. just the job. That's perfect. A perfect recipe for cocoa, and it's all on the internet. Is that drink ready for Peter? Yes, look, it's called cocoa. We've found the recipe on the computer. Yes, the computer tells us everything. I wish it could tell us how to cheer up Peter. He's going to spend Christmas in the hospital without his family and without his presents. Oh. Well done, Dr. Atticus. They'll keep Peter's toes warm as toast. Where on earth did you find them? Oh, they were just hanging around. Well, they're just the job. Feeling better, Peter? Yes, but I want to go home. Everyone should spend Christmas with their families. Or with the one they love. Oh, yes. Yes, I always spend Christmas with my brother. And I spend Christmas with my brother, too. Well, if Peter has to stay in hospital, then why don't we bring his mother here? I could fetch her in the helicopter. And I could fetch her in my helicopter. We just need to know where she lives. Now, where did those stockings go? On an ice floor? On a thin piece of ice floating in the sea? That's no use. We won't be able to land our helicopter. I'm going to ask Claire and Arthur. 
Their computer can tell them everything. Currents and reasons. Jane. Claire, Arthur, <gasps> stop that. But we're making Christmas cake. This is more important. We need to bring Peter's mother here for Christmas. And the Teds say they can't land the helicopter. Don't worry, we'll find the answer. On the computer. I've come to change the warm patches on your toes, Peter. Mm, they're still a little bit frozen. My stockings. What do you mean, your stockings? These stockings are for Santa to put our presents in. We must think of the patient first, Kitty. But, but... Yes, you're right, Sally. We must think of the patients first. Even if it means we don't get Christmas presents this year. By using low-frequency induction measurements coupled with a precise laser altimeter, we should be able to tell where it's safe to land. Let's find the tip. There. Let's tuck you in. You must have an early night because tomorrow is Christmas. It won't be Christmas for me if I'm not at home. Now, now, Peter. Let the hospital be your home. But it's not my home. Home is my mum, my presents and the snow. Home is a long, long way away. It shouldn't be far now. Look! There it is! Yes, but is it safe to land? It's not going to feel like Christmas with no stockings full of presents. <coughs> uh, well, at least we can have a piece of Christmas cake. Bad news. Two lots of bad news. The Teds haven't been able to land. Our invention didn't work. Oh, Peter will be so disappointed. What's the other bit of bad news? The other bit of bad news is that we wasted so much time on that stupid computer that we'd no time left to make the Christmas cake this year. What? Well, we thought the patient must come first. But, but, uh, uh, oh, yes, you're right, Claire. The patient must come first. Oh. Everyone and happy oh, Christmas! Oh, oh yes. Uh, um. Oh, Kitty, this is the best Christmas ever! My mummy came all the way from the North Pole and brought all my presents with her. But I thought you couldn't land. Claire and Arthur said their invention didn't work. No, it didn't. Useless. We chucked it in the sea. Had to lift them up on a rope. So now hospital is just like home. I have my mummy and my presents and. The snow! So it's a white Christmas after all. Special late post for the livery last night. It's addressed to all the staff. Well, let's open it. After all, it is Christmas. So, Santa did come after all. 